Hi there, in this video we're going to learn math instructions. In ArsLogix 5000 software, these instructions are categorized to basic math instructions, advanced math instructions, trigonometric functions, math conversions, and compare instructions. I will explain them briefly. Also, I will show you, how the help window of the ArsLogix software can be used to learn each instruction. Then, in the next video, I will use these instructions to do a simple project, to fill and drain a water tank. My name is Syed Reza, and before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. If you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, here I have created a virtual processor using ArsLogix Emulate 5000 software, and also, I have used ArsLink software to connect the virtual processor, to the programming software, ArsLogix 5000. As you have learned before, here, I have configured the virtual PLC station here. Now, let's look at the basic math instructions. This instruction, compute a mathematical expression like these, where A and B can be either integer or real numbers. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are also basic math instructions, which gets two tags or numbers and calculates the desired value. The mod instruction divides source A by source B, and places the remainder in the destination address. For example, if source A and B are equal to 12 and 5 respectively, the answer will be 2. Square root, negate, and absolute value are other basic math instructions, which gets only one value. Let's use the division instruction, to learn how we can use basic math instructions. First, I must determine what are source A and source B values. Here, I can enter constant numbers, or use tags which stored a number. Also, I must determine where the result must be saved. I wanna use tags which their values can be changed. So, let me right click on each tag and click on new. Usually, double integer or real number are used for math instructions. Now, let me use double integer data type. Similarly, for the next division, I use A and B tags, but I want to store its result in another address, with a different data type. Here, I select real data type instead of double integer, to show you an important point of using math instructions. Let me verify the project and transfer the program into the virtual PLC. Well, I need to change my controller mode to run mode. Now, let me open the program tags table. Click on monitor tags, to see tags value, and also change their values. Alright, let's see division results. As you know, we cannot divide a number by zero. So, these results are wrong. Let me change the second tag from 0 to 1. Now, we can see the correct answers. Let's change the second tag again. Now, here are two different results. 2 and 2.5. Because, in the first division, the data type of this tag, dest1, is double integer. This data type can only store integer numbers. So, the 0.5 is omitted from the correct answer which is 2.5. But in the next division, the data type of this tag is real. It can store floating point numbers like 2.5. As you see, I can't change the tag B value to 2.5. Because its data type is double integer. So, when you're using math instructions, pay attention to data type and some conditions which can cause wrong results.
Now, let me delete inserted division instructions, and explain how a compute instruction works. Let me open the Arslogix help window. Here, I can see its contents. And also, search for the desired topic. Let me write the compute instruction name. CPT. The help window can help us to learn instructions. Here we can see data types can be used for this instruction, which are short integer, integer, double integer, and real numbers. As I mentioned before, this instruction can be used to calculate mathematical expressions. Here we can see some examples to learn how this instruction can be used. This table shows operands and their order which can be used. Note that, the operations are performed based on the prescribed order in this table, not necessarily the order you write them. You can override the order of operation, by grouping terms within parentheses. Here we can see some trigonometric functions and advanced math operands, and also other basic operands like this. Two multiplication signs mean power. For example 5 to the power of 3 becomes 125. Now, let's see what is the ln operand. Well, the ln instruction takes the natural log. So, an example of using the compute instruction can be this. Define the dest2 tag, to compute ln a and b and store its result on the dest2. As you know, the domain of ln is the set of strictly positive real numbers. So, the a tag mustn't be a negative number. Note that, if you click on the advanced math, you can insert and use the ln instruction, and also the logarithm with base 10, and x to power of y instructions. Similarly, you can use trigonometric functions which are sine, cosine, tangent, and their inverse functions, like basic math instructions. Let me insert a sine instruction. Suppose we need to calculate the sine of 30 degrees. And store its value on the B tag. Note that, trigonometric functions like the inserted sine instruction, work based on radian. So, I need to convert 30 degree to its equivalent radian. Let's look at math conversion instructions. The deg instruction converts the source value in radians to degrees, and stores the result in the destination address. The rat instruction works inversely. It converts the source value in degrees to radians. The Todd instruction converts a decimal value to its BCD value. BCD is the binary coded decimal number system, that expresses individual decimal digits, 0 to 9, in a 4-bit binary notation. This table shows some example of decimal numbers and their equivalent BCD value. Note that, the FRD instruction works inversely. It converts a BCD value to its decimal value. The TRN instruction removes or truncates the fractional part of the source value, and stores the result in the destination address. Now, let me use this instruction, to convert 30 degrees to its equivalent radian, and store the result on the A, which the next instruction calculates its sine value. Let's test this program to calculate the sine of 30 degrees. As you know the correct answer is 0.5. Pay attention. As I mentioned before, data types of defined tags are important, when we are using math instructions. Data types of the A and B tag, are double integer. This data type is only used for integer numbers. But when we're using trigonometric functions, like sine and radian, we need real numbers. As you see, the calculated value for A and then B are wrong. Because data type of the A tag is integer, which removes the fractional part of real numbers. So, let me modify data types of the A and B tag, and then, test the program again to see the correct answer.
As you can see, at this time, the controller has calculated the correct answer. Alright, until now, we have explained basic and advanced math instructions. Also, we have done a simple test, using trigonometric functions and math conversion instruction. These instructions are used similarly, and also you can find and read the descriptions and tips for each instructions in the help window. Now, let me a short introduction of another type of instructions. Compare instructions. You can find them, beside the basic instructions. Compare instructions are used to compare two values of the same data type. When the comparison is true, then they can activate a bit of memory, or turn on a digital output. For example this instruction, greater than or equal to, tests whether source A is greater than or equal to source B. Next instructions, less than or equal to, greater than, less than, not equal to, and equal to work similarly. But the next three instructions, mask equal, limit test and compare, are a little different. Let's learn them using the help window. First let me type MEQ, which is a short form of the mask equal to instruction. This instruction passes the source and compare values through a mask and compares the results. But here, what does the mask mean? Remember, when you enter a number, the programming software defaults to decimal values. If you want to enter a number using another format like binary or hexadecimal, precede the value with the correct prefix. Note that, this instruction get three numbers. Typically, these three numbers, the source, mask, and compare values are all the same data type. Let me use this example, that the three numbers are entered in binary form. The second one is the mask number. A zero in the mask means the data bit is blocked. A one in the mask means the data bit is passed. So, if these bits of the first and third numbers are equal, this instruction set the output, light underscore one. Otherwise, this output will be off. This example shows that the mask values are equal. As you see, a zero in the mask restrains the instruction from comparing that bit. So, for the right state, the output will be on 2. Now, let's see what the limit instruction is. This instruction, tests whether the test value is within the range of low limit to the high limit. For example, here, when the test value is 0, 100, or a number between them, the output, light underscore 1 will be on. Otherwise it will be off. Alright, let me explain the last instruction in this video. The compare instruction. This instruction, performs a comparison on the arithmetic operations you specify in its expression part. It works like compute instruction. It can use other compare and maths operands. Let's write a simple program. First, I press Ctrl plus Z on my keyboard to back to my previous program. I want to turn on an output, if the sign A is less than 0. Now, let me download and test this program. As you can see, the sign of 30 degrees is exactly equal to 0.5, so this comparison is not true and the output remains off. Now, let's change the A tag value. For example, let's test this program, when the A tag value is 20 degrees.
as you can see, at this time the sine of 20 degrees is less than 0.5. So, the output is on. Thanks so much for watching, in the next video, we'll use math instructions to write a simple program, to control water level of a tank using factory IO software. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.